Well, hello and welcome to Painting Along with Nancy. And with the painting of this picture, Snow Scene, we hope that we have shown to you that the painting of glass, the painting of water, and the reflections in snow, which give body to the snow, and that is what the painting of snow is all about, that using all those techniques that we've shown you, the painting of all these things, really should present no problem. And also to show you the tremendous range of tone that you can get using a very limited palette, in this case only our two colours. But now another problem appears to have arisen, so let's hold this picture a second and walk along. Hello, Hello. to Nancy. Nancy, uh, everybody has been asking um, this, and this is a point that I've thought about and been afraid to mention so mm -hmm. far. You've always painted on canvas, you see. Yes. Now, canvas can be a little expensive. Does this mean that we, with our technique using the mm -hmm. knife, that we, we, we have to paint on canvas? No, you don't have to. You can paint on hardboard. It's terrific. Well, now, this is the, uh, this is the, the question everybody asks, because hardboard is comparatively cheap, and right. it means that lots of people can get little off-cuts, you see. Mm -hmm. So there is no problem. We can quite no. genuinely paint on hardboard, can right. we? Right. Mm -hmm. You can. Well, now, we, we've shown all the fact using all our limited um, uh, uh, palette. Now, this time, this is a super picture. Oh. This really is. These are, these are our, our, our poppies, and we, this is the, the picture we're going to paint this is um, a fun one. today. But this is just an ordinary piece, uh, Nancy, of, of ordinary hardboard right. here. Mm -hmm. Now, I always thought you had to prime it and things like that. No. No? Mm -mm, no. Actually, if you painted with a brush, you would have to prime it. If we painted with a brush. brush? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. But since we're painting with a knife, and yes. the paint is impasto, it's very thick, you so don't you have lay to. it on. You don't just have to. Lay it on. Well, now in that case, if we've got an ordinary piece of um, hardboard there, which which side would we use? Use the rough then? side because they're the same texture the as canvas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, well, so it, it feels like, just canvas. like canvas. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. As oh, so fact, we um, would just you use the rough side and no need to prime mm -mm. it. And the very expensive linen canvas that you would buy for painting it has the same texture. So really, the odd bits of hardboard will do. Fine. It's tough. Yeah. And it's and it's cheap. Oh, well, then, that, that, that's fair enough. Well, now, look, I'll tell you what, we put that one down there. This is our picture of our poppies, and is this what we're going to oh, do today? Yes. Well, I can see where the light's coming from. There's, as we've been taught all the way along, there's the light, which means that the light is coming from the, this side, the, the left-hand left side, and that the shadows are on the opposite side, so the shadows on the right-hand side. Wonderful, Alan. Well, Nancy, it so happens that we do have a piece of hardboard oh, already set up, you see. <laughs> so now, if that is our hardboard, this is our rough side outwards. Nancy, in that case, if there's no priming, how do we start? What do we do with our brush this we time? We don't have to put... You the, don't have a brush. We don't have a brush. We're going to put the drawing on with chalk. That oh. saves that first step. Isn't that wonderful? So we're just... Is that just ordinary white ordinary chalk? Ordinary white chalk, and I'll show you how. Oh. So well, we still grit it, though. Yeah. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. We still do this. We still do this, you see. This is terribly important. Again, we have to place the subject. So this is just ordinary white chalk right. mm -hmm. um, that we are still drawing using our grid lines. Right. Just like this, you see. The only thing we haven't done is our, is our wash over. Is the wash, it? right. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're not drawing with the wash. There we are. Same thing. Same procedure. Of course, This is now becoming automatic, isn't it? Automatic, be, yes. right. Okay. As I said, I still do this. My goodness, I'd be lost without it. If I had to worry about placing... There we are. Because it's not an automatic thing, actually. It takes years. By that time, you will have forgotten yeah, about painting. Yeah, yeah. You won't want to do it, okay? <laughs> now, I'm going to put the bowl in, like this. Of course, you always try to keep your bowl. Now, this, you know, again, is uh, when you become more experienced, you, you'll sort of improvise and do other things. But try to keep it less than half. This is a very good point in doing flowers. Then you well, know that you have... it's the same with our horizon. Right. Keep everything, mm -hmm. not, never cut a thing in half, is it? No. Are we just about all Well, of course, the flowers are much, usually much more done than, than the vase. This is only just part of it. Did you notice that the bottom is curved as well as the top? Fine. Yeah. Okay? Now, I'm going to put one here like this. Now, these are very special flowers, and they're built, they're almost like a little cup. So we're going to do this like that. You see? Like that. Like so this. even with the chalk, the approach is still the same, then. Right. See, exactly mm -hmm. the same. Now, see, I'm going to do this. I'm making circles, but did you notice what I'm doing? I'm separating these circles like this, you see? Yeah. Like that. Now, of course, we still have our little flowers in, in um, perspective, you know, like this, yeah. that way. And then we have some going this way. And you remember, in doing the circles, the position 
is determined by the way we shape our circles and the position we put them in, you see? Yeah, because okay. we're not looking at them all exactly right. the same, mm -hmm. are we? I see. Oh, yeah. I love to have one. As a matter of fact, this is characteristic of poppies, that they droop. Yeah. Oh, those are a very obvious little cup you have there, yes. isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's it, yeah. The fun thing is when you paint them. Oh, it's marvelous. Now, let's see, let's put one up here like this. That way. I like to keep it nice and loose because it is that kind of, of flower. You see, it's a very soft flower. Poppies are fantastic. As a matter of fact, it's better to, to draw them than to grow them, darling. You're in less trouble. <laughs> there you are. These, these are from Italy, by the way, these lovely pink poppies. I found these them in Italian long poppies, countries. They're Italian yeah. poppies. In California, they would be orange. And it would be American poppies Nice and there. pink in this way. Mm -hmm. Let's put one here like this. Okay. There we are. There. So, actually, it, it makes no difference, Nancy, does it? No. I mean, that we have done almost exactly the same. We've done the same grid system. We've done the same loose drawing uh, that we would have done had we been painting on Now, I'm going, to do a, I'm going to put a little shading like this. No, you're this just tells shading us, in with chalk. Yes, you know, because the light's coming from the left, that means right. that this area of the poppy is in shadow, right? Yeah. Now, it's the reverse on the left side. So, in other words, it's dark here, like this, you see, because the light's hitting the top of the yeah. poppy, like this, you see? So, this is where our basic rules of the, whichever side the light's coming, coming from, the shadow is on the opposite side. Exactly. You can almost divide that in half, yeah. see, like that. This is this way. This is, but this is still underneath right. because the light's not getting. And let's put a little shadow. Incidentally, this has an interesting thing here. It's all shaded because these poppies are lying over the bowl like this. So they're see? shading the bowl, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's it. Now Isn't that it? again is, well, so far it's, on, it's is the identical approach, isn't now it? Now it's the same thing. Same you know, right? layout mm -hmm. of palette, only this time, Nancy, we're using more than two colors, right? right? Now we're going to the dark tone immediately. Right. You see it goes on just like canvas. Isn't that wonderful? It's really not much different. Oh, it isn't actually. No, no. you're right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I see what you mean. Yeah. We go right between. It's the same thing. Of course, the only thing it, that I might have little qualms about is that it does use a little more. It will soak up the paint a little bit, but that's yeah. all right, you see. And of course, we have the usual thing of saving the flowers, but of course, not going around yeah. laboriously and, and, and um, worrying about it. Oh, just leaving, around, just leaving the outlines, aren't we? Well, this is a very big poppy. This is getting more look more like um, <laughs> sunflower. <isn't laughs> I love the hot. Now this pink, is our though. dark tone. This is the dark see. tone, of course. Mm -hmm. My golly, I saw I am going to run out of paint because you see this, this hardboard does like, soak up the paint a little bit. So the only the, well, the only thing you might notice using hardboard is that you might use just a little more paint because it, it does tend to see to soak it up, is it? Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put this um, here like this. This is the middle tone that goes in the middle. You know, you yeah. see, it's very, very, very well, logical. This is your technique. This is what we're, we we try to remember. This is it. Our three tones. Right. This way. You three see. tones of of however many colours we're using: light, medium, and dark. And this is now the medium tone down right. here. Isn't it? Well, let's get it go into these poppies a little because if they're large now, in this at this stage, by the time we get the colour on, we'll have enormous poppies. Of course, they are quite large, you know. Poppies are large. And they're flowers, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, they're lovely, yeah. but they don't last very long once they're cut. There we are. Now, you see how marvelous this is? And, of course, the fact that it doesn't cost you a lot of money should be a real joy. Yeah, well, because people can, if they go to their local sh store, shop, they, they can get off-cuts, what we call off-cuts. You know? Well, of course, the interesting Which thing is, just is bits and pieces of hard when you're learning, you don't feel as though you want to invest a lot of money until you know that you can turn yeah. out a nice picture. Because after your first paint, then you realize that you can. So it's we no can problem. actually just use off-cuts and just literally practice on all these, right. mm -hmm. which is what it's all about. I'm going to go through here like this. Like that. This is um, a little more difficult for me because it's, uh, you know, I'm rushing through it and it, um, it's no more uh, thing here. There we are. Now we'll put the light tone on. Alan, I always have visions of you being speckled. No, I'm all right. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm watching, yes. Uh -huh. I have my, my white spirit and turpentine rag already. <laughs> it's amazing that you haven't gone home, um, or have you? You haven't told come. me. <laughs> You're afraid to tell me. You're afraid that I'll yeah. stop. I won't let you come anymore. <laughs> now, we've got this lovely light tone, you see, and it has a violet cast. Yeah. 
Now, you'll notice in this painting, this is one of the few very dark backgrounds that we're using, and it's very exciting with the beautiful colors we're going to use, you see? Yeah, that is quite violet there, isn't it? Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah. And the painting, the, uh, the, the, the uh, poppies are a very gorgeous hot pink. So you see, this is, again, a very harmonious painting because all the colors are related. They belong to the same family, the purples, the blues, yeah. and so on, you see? This is one thing we, we ought to remember, Nancy, I suppose, is that when one does, um, if we are doing a painting, we ought to relate our colors. Yes, absolutely, for harmony in a yeah. painting. I mean, I know that um, when I was starting to paint, I thought, well, I'll do a blue bow, and, oh, I think I'd like, you know, um, red um, in the background, and so on. You know, you don't yeah. stop to think, well, is it, a, is it a harmonious color? So what we ought to do, really, is reflect all our colors, unify them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that we've done that, let's get to the bowl, okay? Yeah. Now, those are our three tones. The three the tones. There. Now, it looks unrelated, but when it's on, you, it will make sense. Yeah. When everything is put together. Fine. Now we've got this gorgeous color for the vase, which is yeah. shades of blue, yeah. you see. Yeah. Like this. Now, which tone of the three? This is, is the, dark, the tone. dark tone. And of course, I'm going to use the middle oh, tone. Oh yeah, because the light's coming from the left, so right. the dark tone will be on the opposite right. side. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's it's as we're working. I know that you probably get impatient hearing it, but that's the only way you learn. Is the repetition? Is the repetition. So finally, when it does become automatic, then you don't yeah. ever have to think about it anymore. It doesn't mean that you can't go on and do your own thing. This system is only a launching pad into doing your own thing, yeah. you see. Yeah, once, you, once you've established this in your mind, well, then, you, then it's up to you from there on in, isn't right. it? This is where and you can't help it. It's natural. Individual artistic interpretation, it's, isn't it's it? It's normal yeah. to, to want to change, and you do it. As a matter of fact, you do it without, without knowing it. You pull away from the system. That's why we have so many rebels. <laughs> there we are. It's an automatic thing to want to, to do something of your very own. As I keep telling my students about painting, when you're going to your reward and they find them in the attic, the least they can say about you is that you're a, a brilliant, naive, <laughs> or a primitive. That's what my grandma Moses was, you know. She was a primitive. She painted the things that were familiar and nostalgic, and that was her claim to fame. You see? Nancy, the one thing I, I, you know, I have noticed, however sometimes complicated some of the shapes get, that if you remember your, our basic approach and our basic techniques, then um, we, we should have really no problems, should no, we? Shouldn't. Our three tones of our related colors. That's more important than the drawing, always, believe And just the mind. constant repetition, the constant use of those three tones will give us, as you've got here, it gives us depth, definition. Oh, Light and dark. Right. I'm going to put a little purple below here, Alan. Of course, I this like is always that, that purple shadow. touch, yes. Our purple shadows, that, that's rubbed off. I think they should name a color after me, the Kaminsky purple. <laughs> oh, there we are. This is the shadow underneath, yeah. and I think that's terribly important. Of course, naturally, it's, it's a must. It also gives it, gives it a base. It, it tells it us it's, it's base, sitting on something, it? you see. Right, if yeah, not, it's yeah. floating in air. Well, yeah. we've got enough problems without having floating, <laughs> floating poppies. There you are. And now we're going to bring down a few bl blue tones like this, which tells us it's a reflection. This is, yeah. this is an easy way of doing reflections, you see. Yes, because I notice the reflections, be they in water or on snow, you, you get to establish a similarity of stroke. Yes, did you, you notice those little zing-zings yeah. I put down yeah. there across the way? There we are. Now, I'm going to put the poppies in. That's yeah. the fun part. Now, because the light's coming from the left and the dark areas here, we're going to put on the d dark area this way. This is terribly interesting. It goes like this. And it's in the shape of a fan like yeah. that, you see? That's the dark part. Now I'm going to put on the medium tone like this. Now you see, notice... Yeah. Immediately you've got a cup, haven't you? Yes, we've got a cup, yeah. you yeah. see, like that. Yeah. I'm going to bring this around like yeah. this, you see? There you are. There's one poppy. Voila! Yeah. Now we're going to put a little light tone there like that. And we're going to put a little purple yeah. tone. Well, we're watching the build-up now. Uh, we, we hope you are at home watching these um, inserts because it does show the, um, the color being laid on and it shows you the build-up of color. And this then, when you come to do it, you will be able to relate to see how the co one color lays on top of another then to form the whole. Now, there we are. 
Now that's course. the inside again, mm -hmm. isn't it? You see how we do that? With one foot, of course, you won't be able to flip it like that when, you know, when you're not experienced. But try first. Use, take a piece of paper and try it. And you'd be surprised. With a little practice, you can do it. It's not that, um, you know, complicated. There we are. So the use of our, our tone there, our light, medium, and our dark, Gives us depth and form. You just, it? Yes, because Absolutely. actually they're not very well drawn. You see, they're very loosely drawn. But what makes it right is the fact that we're using the three tones. You see? Now, here I've made it, I've had a little dull color. This particular flower is rather um, in, in um, the dark area here down below. Because not everything's in the light. Not everything there. is in the light, exactly. So let's do that. Then we're going to put a little dark tone underneath like this. There you are. I rather uh, like doing this. It's fun. Now, we're going to go around this way. Usually I start from the center. It's unusual that I do this, but um, I guess uh, it wasn't my day for center starting. <laughs> there we are. Now, I'm going to go over and um, show you how we're going to do this area. Now, this, by the way, is that way. Oh, I was going to say, we, we've got the, the, the light coming in, right. so this we're just reversing the well, models here. I'm we going now? to do this this way first. Always do the center first, like this. Mm -hmm. Because then it's easier to do the other. Now, this side is medium and light, like this. Yeah. Like that. And the way, whichever half is dominant tells us the position, you see. For example, we're looking yeah. down into that, so that's yeah, not yeah. quite so... Um, the, the top is more pronounced than the bottom, you see? And the fact that some of the color drags through into the other is, is Isn't absolutely that beautiful? right. Isn't that yes. absolutely right. It's I think, you know, as long as I've been painting, I still have that tremendous excitement each picture yeah. I do, because each picture is a different challenge. If you'll notice in the series, I've chosen all types of pictures for all kinds oh, of color combinations. Done, yes, enough to please everybody Because I wanted there, to yeah. students to see that... Uh, what they can do, and that they can do any kind of painting with the system. There you are. Now I'm going to do this one this way. It goes on exactly the same way, Nancy, doesn't it? Yes, you know, it the does. The application mm -hmm. is absolutely the same, isn't it? There. Mm -hmm. There we are. Nancy, we've already, um, you know, while you're doing that, if... Um, just to recap, that we already have used from our palette, when our layout of palette layout there, um, when you relate the colors, to do this in the mixing of relating colors, is there any special rule that one would um, follow there? Well, always you mix the middle tone first. That's, that's absolutely important, yeah. because it's the mother color, you see. And then you make a dark of it and a light of it, and that is the most important thing you do in mixing color is to get your color, establish your middle tone first. Yeah. Whatever mistakes you make in that uh, can, should be taken care of immediately because it will affect the mixtures of all the other tones. So that's important. I think another thing I would like to mention along those lines is when we mix the, the uh, uh, colors on the palette, like the aqua and what have you, yeah. have to be very careful it's not too intense because then you end up with a painting that's... Um, a massive color, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. color. There we are. Because this is what you mean when you, when you unify these colors, is that there's an element of all the colors there, isn't right. there? You know, mm -hmm. You're not looking at areas of brilliant color and dotted about all over the place, because that is not what you see anyway, is it? No, it isn't really. There we are, Alan. How about that? Hmm? Now, this is very narrow up here. In other words, it's in profile. Yeah. So we're going to do a little different one up there, like this, you see. That's in profile. And then you take your knife. Did you notice that? You see what I do? Yeah. And I'll work it out like that. You can always those are definitely go back. cups. I mean, you're, you're looking into the flowers. You're looking right you? into them, right. Yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah. There you are. Again, yeah. I just wanted to show you. I'm going to add a few extra light tones here, Alan, to give it a little schmaltz, you know, because that's yeah. what does it. It's not now, just... so far, Nancy, we've just, we've done, uh, if, 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 if we were doing this at home, we would have put on the background first, for obvious reasons, because you'd never, as you said before, you would never be able to paint around um, the flower. So we put the background on first, 
Then comes in the vase or bowl. Now we're doing the outline of the flowers, right. mm -hmm. and we haven't started yet on the on the greenery. That's that's oh, the last. Oh no, bit, that's isn't the last. Yeah. That's, and that can be the real Waterloo for a beginning painter. Oh yeah. Oh, she got yeah. beautiful flowers, and then she has all the spinach and choking <laughs> out the flowers. <laughs> yeah. And I think I haven't done it, and I have to lick it. I'm the same way with leaves on a tree. Before I'm through, I've got the tree over the whole yeah. top of the canvas. I just absolutely go mad over leaves. There we are. But we hope at home that you can see the, the use now of our three tones, how by using three tones is giving us the shape, outline, depth of those poppies there. Did you notice the hard board, how wonderful it is? Yes. I, I, in fact, I'll tell you what, I've, I've forgotten that you were using hard board there right. at the moment. You see, and this definitely is cheaper. Then when you become very experienced and you want to save your paintings for posterity, you well, may want to put to them the, on then, canvas. Then, then comes to the canvas, yes. Because the I'll say, well, you know, can be done on canvas, you yeah. have to be very careful. We have a very snobbish thing in art, you know. They, they, they frown on makeshift things, yeah. you know. There's certain standards that you have to, to live by. I fight it all the time. Because, you know, I've been accused of prostituting art. Because, um, well, if you're not prostituting art, you're probably prostituting Prostitute. something else. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's keep it to art. Let's keep it to art, huh? <laughs> This is much more fun after we have a nice paint well, to show this for this is it. what it's all about, Nancy, isn't it? It's fun. It's fun, Without yes. too much strain, yeah. Well, Not to is, mention yeah. that you, your family is proud of you. Uh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Sage. Nancy, it's, it's at this moment in time, you always slightly worry me because we're still three quarters of the way through and, you know, and I'm looking at an unfinished picture and all everybody right. says she'll, she, one day she's not going to finish a picture, you see. No, you don't think I will? Yeah. Are well, you worried? I, you know, the trouble you always do, you see. So... <laughs> I, I must admit, there are times when I get slightly agitated. Well, I'll, I'll try not to worry too uh, much. What, wait a minute. Uh, what's wait a minute let me have to put some little zing zing. This is all the, the uh, business. Those little back yeah. stains, yeah. Right in yeah. the middle there, like that. Well, there goes the build-up again, and you will see exactly uh -huh. what's happening. Well, I'm going to put the leaves in in just a moment, Alan, yeah. so that you shouldn't fret, okay? You see, yeah, look at that. You see, that's, mm -hmm. that's those, those poppies now have really come to life. Yes. You see? Now I'm going to put the leaves in. Did you notice stems. purple I put between? Yes. Well, I know why you're putting the purple in there now, because when we've done still life before like this and uh, flowers or whatever, it, it, inside there is shadow. Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? So right. that, that purple is suggesting depth inside now, isn't it? Ah. Uh. Now there's our three tones of green going in. Mm -hmm. And we've got to put a little thing here like this. So that's where the, yeah, it's being just slightly highlighted, the various tones, the various shades of the green. The shades of green, yeah. which of course then, this is the icing on the cake, yeah. you see. This is the fun thing. And this is just, you know, like I tell oh. my, you know the interesting thing when you're painting, Super, yeah. and when a student is painting, he's scared to death, the painting looks dreadful when, when we're working it. And I tell him, I said, well, you know, remember the uh, commercial of the woman walking down the street, you know, in her maiden form? or whatever it is, and, she's, you know, and I yeah. tell them, I say, well, this is how a painting is, you know, you walk down the street and you have nothing yeah, else but, it's but when you little, see the finished product. When you see the finished product, <laughs> it makes a difference. Yeah. Well, this is the sort of, this is the, this is the, the girdle going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we are now. And heavens to Betsy, just a suggestion of leaves. I can't tell you how many times we try to draw leaves. It's not necessary. You don't see those perfect leaves yeah. in there, and if you do, no, you forget don't. it. No. Just go ahead and paint an impression. There we are. Now, we've got to put in some buds. I can't stand it. We've got to put in some buds, Alan. <laughs> there you see, like this. These are little round things say, like that. You've done it, haven't you? <laughs> Do you think I have? <laughs> well, we're getting there, right? Now, yeah, well, we hope, you know, that you, at, at home you've seen the fact that um, all the colors now have come together, the, the painting has come together, and you'll see how by reflecting all our colors reflecting um, the, the the lovely richness of the of the poppies the pink of the poppies by reflecting that throughout the painting here you've unified and pulled our painting of our poppies together well time once again has beaten us but um, please watch it from the beginning again carefully watch the build-up of our pink poppies from Nancy and from myself until next time bye-bye <laughs>